Hello, Creative Collective. How are you doing today? Are you doing mighty fine? Are you doing mighty well? Are you living your life? Are you being a well adjusted individual? Are you rocking? Are you rolling? Are you trying to understand? Are you asking questions that you just don't understand? Are you trying to find your guides or your spirits or your friends? Hey, you might be at the right place. Hey, you. What you doing? Hey, you. What you doing? Well, I've been living, I've been living, I've been living. I've been living, I've been living, I've been living. I've been living, I've been living, I've been living. How about you? Hello, Amanda. How are you doing this evening? My name is Seth David Suits I am an intuitive. I am an eccentric medium. I am an intuitive storyteller. I'm a holistic worker, Reiki master teacher. Thank you so much, Amanda, for tuning in. It's a little dark in here, isn't it? It's a little dark in here. But we got some great light. We're going to bring some great light. We're going to talk about spirit guides and spirit teams and how to respect the process and how to start. Um, this is very interactive. I will go from one topic to another. Hello, Anne-Marie Young. How are you? So we've got this one deck that I have not opened yet. Um, I have no idea what it's, what's in here. Uh, it really didn't have much of a name. Like, what's right? Hello, Bridget. Um, but you know, so we're, we're gonna check this card deck out. Uh, so frequencies, let's talk about it. So I'm gonna tell y'all a story. I might get told for this, but you know, who cares, right? I recently, I'd probably say about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, I was on Facebook. You know, we all we all post stupid stuff on Facebook, or if we haven't, so. When we post stupid stuff on Facebook, we have a peanut gallery of geniuses that like to tell us that we shouldn't post stupid things on Facebook. And we should really listen to them much more often. I had posted a um, a meme that I thought was funny and everybody else thought was funny. I saw people liking it on you know Instagram and everything else. But when you have a – the meme was of this is your spirit animal. Now, I didn't mean any disrespect by it at all. Uh, it was something about a guy in an office and how, he, you know, he felt like he was a goat or something that matter. And so I was like, oh, this is, I feel like this sometimes. I need this kind of spirit animal. And so not 10 minutes passed by that one of my friends, who I adore to death, said, hey, you know, you need to really understand what you're saying. To some people, that word is very, very powerful. And then my other friend, who is electrical engineer, PhD in electrical engineering. The other one has a, a PhD in uh, anthropology. Um, so when you have two doctors tell you that what you're doing is probably not the smartest thing in the world and that you should think, poo -poo, maybe think. Um, hello, panel consultant. How are you? And so this is why I, I started want to talk about spirit guides, because I think a lot of people – Throw that word around, just like they mention um, twin flame, and they mention uh, you know uh, that word I hate, not twin flame. What is it? Come on, come on, come on! Somebody tell me, twin flame and uh, soulmate. That, but it's another, it's another word too. Anyway, these two these two things are very very different. I'm doing wonderful, paranormal consultant. Very wonderful indeed. Oh man, and thank you. Greg is amazing. I'm gonna talk about spirit and how that and how Greg's show inspired this uh this week's episode. So what we're doing with spirit guides is and we got you know again the media and these classes that are popping up all over the country, all over the world. You know, some of them are great and some of them are for shit. And I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it and put it out there. Um some of them you have teachers. I was blessed to have a teacher who told me, um, if you're ever talking about, if you're ever doing intuitive reading 
and people want their spirit guides and you can't give them their spirit guides, then you give them their money back. It's, you know, it sounds common sense, but a lot of people just take money. A lot of people just take money. I'm going to tell you something in the, industry, in the industry of paranormal, in the industry of entertainment. When you just start taking money and you don't put that money in places where it needs to go, because money is a tool, as my mother-in-law says, money is a tool to be used. It is not to be hoarded, right? You were to save it when it needs to be saved, right? You're not going to go, oh, I'm going to blow my money. Hey, let's go blow some money. You want to blow some money? Let's go blow some money. Hey, let's go blow some money. So I pulled some cards today. I told you I'm random, Amanda, and people will tell you, hello, Sandra, Aunt Sandra my Aunt Sandra's watching. So these cards fell. Uh, I've used these cards before, the fundamentals of astrology. But I'm just going to, they fell today. And I was like, you know what? Hummingbird's cool. You know, I just want to pull some stuff out and see where finding your spirit guides goes. No bullies allowed, as Paranormal Consultant says. 16, 16 years in this field and never charged a penny. Well, all right. I appreciate, Paranormal Consultant, what you're saying. Um but people get taken advantage of in this industry as healers, as mediums, intuitives. Um, some people do this for a living, and they don't know how to price themselves. And so it's very, very important uh, that you know your worth. And paranormal consultant, you know your worth. You know your worth. It's obvious. You know your worth is you're priceless. You're priceless, so you can't put a price on it. You care that much about the people, and that's important. Not say uh, not say that me and my fellow colleagues say we don't care about the people, but you have other ways of making an income, most likely, um, where you can do what you love, and you can do it with a a clean clean consciousness. And I appreciate that. And if I if I said anything to offend anybody, I'm sorry. Sometimes I say stupid shit. Uh, this feels very open to manipulation, but this says no bullies allowed. That's how it is here at the Wolf Bear Den at the Trinity Station. No bullies allowed. Um, you or someone close to you may be trying to control the situation. So let's ask about a guide who can help that. We're going to use, uh, let's see. Y'all want to go Viking? Y'all want to go Viking? Once you go Viking, I hear you'll never go back. Is that right? Okay, we're going to pull some by. These cards are beautiful, by the way. Um, there's no color to them. Uh, but they are, they're, they're amazing. They're amazing. So people ask me, how do you find your spirit guides? How do you find your spirit team? How do you find the people in this world that you're supposed to work with? And that's very hard because you have to understand that this world is such a complicated place because we're complicated human beings. We're not simple. We're not simple-minded, right? even though sometimes we act like we're simple-minded. We're very complex individuals, and we have needs and we have wants. And we have to understand that working with our energies, working with this world, working with our faith, um, if, you're, if you're religious um, in frequencies, that's a whole other ballgame because you've been taught all your life there's angels, there's saints, and that's it. That's it. You might have a tooth fairy in there somewhere. Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. But that's it. So we have to be careful. So we're talk we're talking about bullies, right? Where'd that card go? Oh, no bullies allowed. And we're gonna pull pick a guy to help. Hello, Annette. How are you? Annette, 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 how are you? So this is a guide of frequency. Now you might say, these are these are Viking gods and goddesses. And I'm I'm a Christian. I grew up in the South. I, I did this. Frequencies are all around the world, ladies and gentlemen. A basketball has a frequency. Patriotism has a frequency. Right? Who are you to tell me that you think that Elvis is your frequency? Right? He's your spirit guy. Just so, and it can't be Tom, Dick, Harry, John, Joe's, whatever, right? It's a frequency. It's a holding place where we put that energy, right? It's an energy. Human beings, we are energies. We create these things. These Greek, these Greek gods, these Roman gods, these uh, all these things. 
And now you have historical figures, and they actually walk the earth, and they have a very different frequency. Very, very different frequency. Very different spiritual energy. And uh, I hope Greg comes in, because I want to talk. Uh, he may, if I see him here. Uh, if not, if y'all see Greg, um, say, you know, tell him. So bullies. All right. Balder. So Balder talks about forgiveness, mildness, and kindness. So how do we get over bullies? Well, we have to forgive them. That's a that's a thing. It's the hardest thing. Yes, and that very much true. And that hit it on the head. I think everyone's God is the same. They just call them different. We're human beings. We have diversity. We have differences, right? I was talking to a person today. And in my job, you know, I, I really can't tell them what, what else I do. But uh, she's like, I was like, in my past life, I worked with stones. She's like, oh, and I didn't even tell her. Um, I didn't tell her that uh, I was a medium. And she's like, so, you know, my dad passed away. And I was like, oh, and her dad's energy was right there on me today. And like, she's like, you're going to have to, and dad was so cool. He was like, You're, you really can't say anything to her. She's going to talk about stuff, and you just need to say, oh, okay. Okay. She needs somebody to hear this because everybody else that hears this is crazy. The one was talking about how when her dad passed away, he, he suffered from dementia, Alzheimer's, and he had this thing about socks. He would hide socks. He would hide socks, and he put socks in different places. But when he died afterwards, they set socks everywhere. Well, one invest an investigator of mine would say a man who knows he is or a woman who knows she has dementia or is going to have dementia or Alzheimer's uh, might play a practical joke on the family and start being like, well, they know I put socks everywhere. Let's see what they think about this when I'm gone, right? Um, or a fair investigator might say, hey, these socks are showing up because they, you, because they mean something to you. Your guides show up Use frequencies. I call them frequencies because I'm very, you got to be very careful going back to what I said earlier about the terms you use as a, a holistic worker, as a medium, as an intuitive, as a, as a person who just lives life. You have to be careful. Um, I'll never forget. Uh, my friend talked to me, we, we, uh, you know, they, uh, a, a certain word. I'm trying to make sure I say this right. That's why I'm tongue, tongue, tongue twisted. I do this at work too. I'm just like, I, I know how to speak. I went to school to speak. I can speak. I Damn it, I can speak. But again, no bullies allowed. No bullies allowed. So Balder is going to help us with that. So we're going to put Balder up here. And you might say, hey, who's Balder? And Balder has an owl. So you might say, oh, I've always had a frequency to owls. And I've been bullied my whole life. How can I help? How can I? I feel like I've been bullied my whole life. What can I do? Well, you can reach into the frequency of Balder, and you can figure out who Balder was. And you know what? We got some time, right? Let's see. Let's give a let's give a little 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 shake shake here and see who Balder is. All right. Here at the uh, at Sundays with Suits, you learn something new every day. Or if you don't, you should. Um, only good things are told of Balder. He is a personification of goodness, mildness, and kindness of the likable of talent, and also renewal and foresight. Most every mythology, folklore, and religion has a deity like Balder, the virtuous but also the vulnerable one. The one who perishes but transcends death and reappears with a new beginning. With his death, Ragnarok is instigated, shaking the foundation of the worlds and finally bringing the demise of the gods. Again, this is all lowercase g. Balder is famed for his beauty and his talent. A light of gentleness shines through him, but he is vulnerable one. The dreamer, he, he and his mother Frigg foresee his fate and the fate of the world. Now, it goes on and on and on. If bold, it says if Balder shows up in your spread, it's a sign for something incredibly good and delicate in the seeker's path. So if you're looking for good and unique good, call in that Balder. Look it up again. This, de this deck, y'all, is amazing. I can't tell you. When you're looking for spirit guides, the spirit frequencies, it's, it's right here. It's right here. You can get this, uh, you know, Amazon, right? So uh, it's by uh, Hakua Haldunsen. I, I butchered that name, but I apologize. All right. So that's just an example of how you get a guide. Now, you have primary guides. Hello! All right, so I'm going to talk about Greg real quick. I'm going to talk about spirit guides and Greg. So last night, I mean the last week, 
um, after the show, well, after my right right when my show was ending, I felt a frequency, and then I felt a spirit. Frequency, I use like my spirit guides and such. So there's a very different energy, okay? And it said, "Hey, you need to go to Greg's show. You need to go to Greg's show." And I was like, "Okay." But I'm really tired. And I gotta go to work tomorrow. And if I don't, if I don't make it on time, I work from home. So this could be a problem. And I can't make excuses like the car didn't start or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still screwed. But spirit was like, "No, you really need to go. It's gonna be something really intense." I was like, and I want to support Greg because Greg supports me and he supports everybody. And we all support the things network. So long story short, spirit communicated with me, and then frequency communicated with me. It was like, uh, brother, it's time. My spirit guide, who's named Arthur, my main spirit guide, and yes, it's King Arthur, but I didn't know that for years. I just thought he was a, a pain in the ass British person. Um, but anyway, said, you, you gotta go. And I was so blessed because through the spirit boxes, I heard my father and my mother, and they called my son's name out, and they said, you know, they said things. And I want to talk about Greg because what Greg does with spirit, a lot of people don't do, and that's respect spirit. And that's very, very important. You have to respect spirit. If you go out here and you're trying to understand how to be an intuitive or a medium or anything like that, then and you don't know and you have no idea what the hell you're doing, then you're going to end up having to call one of us because you've opened up some door, you brought some darkness in or some light. And I can tell you, you can bring some lightness in, and it can be too much light. And you might, like, that's, that's David, that makes no more sense. I don't understand. You have to have balance. And the great thing about Greg's uh, show is there's balance in it. Not one person gets enough attention. It's not just on one person. It's on everybody. And Greg really looks to everyone. So I want to thank Greg for that. It was very important. It was very special to me. Uh, it helped me the whole week. It kicked off my week. Um, so, yeah. So make sure you tune in to watch Ghost Box with Greg, uh, Ghost Box Live. All right. So Balder, kindness, 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 kindness. All right. So now we're gonna go for an, another free. And this is what I call an insulated frequency. An insulated frequency is a is a power animal. Now you've got to be very, very, very careful with what you say and do. You don't go into a shaman, a, per, a real shaman's tent. Now, this is another thing. People calling themselves shamans and the public people calling them titles that they have no way to, like, you don't want to piss spirit off. I don't know if y'all ever been in that situation where people have got, came in, they'd be like, well, you know what? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's about to get real. We're about to show this guy, uh, like, Ghostbuster style, like, do not cross the streams. And the, but the spirits are going to cross the streams because we, the person screwed up. So another card that we pulled today, not today, but it just fell out, was Venus. Open your heart to love. Your soulmate is trying to find a way in. So it's very, 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 very important here. Like a lot of people are like, I want to find my lover. I need to find my lover. Help me find my lover. Please help me find my lover. Right, I can't tell you how many readings I did. I just want to be loved. Why am I not loved? You with the long list or the short list? Oh, whatever. Right? Y'all know what that's from? Anybody know where that's from? Why am I not adored? Oh, why am I not adored? All right. Here we go. We ask some guides some stuff. If y'all have questions, if y'all have comments, if you're like, hey, I want to have some guide energy, I need to like, I'm, you know, I'm. I'm looking. I need some some feedback and some stuff. All awesome. Annette says I'm strange, but in a good way. Huh. Huh. I am strange. I am unusual. I'm entertaining, hopefully. Not all the time. Sometimes I say dumb things. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Holy shit, this is why I do this. So, Venus, open your heart to love. Your soulmate's trying to find a way in. And then unconditional love, Divine Mother. So, Divine Mother is who? Mother Mary. Um, that's when you think of Divine Mother, usually. 
So your spirit guide, if you're looking for love or you're trying to understand love, might be working with the Divine Mother. That's why I'm called the eccentric medium, the intuitive storyteller. So that's why, I mean, it's just, it's so crazy. Like, it's just so nuts that you, we get to do these things. They get to sort of just pop out here. So I got, I don't want to cover y'all up. Let me put you over here. All right, there you go. All right. So you have to start working with your guides. And as you start working with your guides, you start developing a relationship. Now, here's the thing frequencies frequencies they're all in the world so all these frequencies already exist this is very much a uh, a chekhov thing uh he believed that all the characters in the world existed and actors could just go up and pull them out of the sky and put them on i, I said i wish i would have had that when i was in, in in college in high school and part of my adult life i was worried about this that these and those Hello, Christy. How are you? So Amanda wants to know how you find your guides. Well, I'm, I'm showing you one way. One way is you can use cards. One way is you can find insulation of like working with stones. Guides. Hello, Things Network. Who is acting like Things Network today? <laughs> All right. Hello, Jeremy York. Y'all make sure you're sending energy to Jeremy. Also, y'all, um, I, have, I have a request, three requests. Um, I don't even know this person, but they've lost their dog. And the dog's name is Ghost. Uh, he's been gone forever. Um, and we all know how it is when we lose some, a dog. Um, so send energy to Ghost to come go home. Go home. Go to his parents. And then we want to pray for Bob Saget's family. We want to pray for Betty White's family. We want to pray for uh, Cindy Poitier's family. We'll pray for all those that are suffering, uh, dealing with loss. Um, well, we all know if, you, if we're mediums and intuitives that loss hits people very differently and at very in different times. So to answer your question, how do you find your guides? Well, you, it's, it's sometimes it's a shit show. And, and, and uh, I think Annette asked me that. Amanda asked me that. And so it really is. And so you got to put your waders on because you may think that you're working with the Zeus frequency, right? You may think, uh, I'm really attracted to owls. Uh, I'm really attracted to lightning and thunderstorms. Um, but then you find out um, Zeus is a little bit too masculine for me. So what can I what can I, what can I find? What 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 is a better, more suiting kind of way? I call research is the best way to find your guides. When you go to a medium or as intuitive or whoever holistic worker to get your guides you're going to get what they perceive of you even if they don't know you like when i do a deep dive on people it takes about three i do three weeks of channeling and i get there i give them a, an a array of guides and you know, power animals and such to work with that's not meaning that that's the only thing they're going to have okay so they have different things out there for us to use the universe and the world is so big. You know, you, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be an angel. It doesn't have to be a real thing, but it has to be a frequency. It has to have a vibration. It has to have an energy. It's got to have an energy. If you don't have an energy, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it, right? Look at that balance. Ain't that, tell me that ain't some shit right there. Look at that. Look at that. Some balance. It's what you have to have. You have to have a balanced perspective when you are working with your guides. Um, and guides, guide work can be very, very scary. Uh, it's like when you're working with shadow self. You know, it can be very, very scary. If you are not insulated, and that's what a lot of people don't teach in these classes or in these shows, right? I had to learn myself how to insulate. I had to say, okay, so if this is a good thing, this was created by a good person, right? This is what the frequency is, a good frequency, right? Then I'm good. St. Michael. Boom, boom, boom. There's nothing bad in that frequency. There's nothing. He's a defender. He's he, he he's from the creator. He's right. Boom. Cool sword. Awesome. Right. Metatron. We talked about him last week. The record keeper. Right. We have that. It's insulated. Right. We have to start to understand that when we start pursuing 
our purpose, right? And we find the way that we're going in the direction that we need to go in, right? And we don't worry about being shamed by what direction that is. Say it could be your sexual orientation. It could be your political affiliation. It could be your career, right? You start to learn that you need discipline, right? And when you have that discipline, you start to understand that you're becoming more in tuned, more engaged with who you are as a person. And as you become more engaged with who you are, hello, Mary Jo Burton. She's on my Facebook. Hello, how are you? You start to really become more you. A balanced soul, unless you, I tell people, before you go out looking for spirit guides and power animals and frequencies, get in touch with the self. Because you have to have a clean foundation. If you start building up on like mucky, old, bad, yazoo, clay kind of stuff, your foundation is going to go to shit. It's just going to happen. You cannot start this. And when you start it, be like, well, you know what? I'm just going to be deceitful. I'm going to say I'm doing this, that, these, and those, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's really funny. That's purple, right? That purple, red, because when we have that grounding. So many times when we're working with grounding ourselves, we have to tell, we have to lie to ourselves sometimes. You know, we're like, oh, shit, this is, I'm okay. And you're not okay. You're not okay. You have anxiety or you have depression. You're like, oh, my God, oh, dear, I'm so sorry, right? Because you're in denial. If you're in denial, that's okay. It's a human thing to have. It's a human thing to be in denial, right? Energy raises at a frequency, right? So here's the thing. Let's look at this. Um, who's your, who's y'all's? Each one of y'all tell me y'all's favorite character in DC. Go ahead. Let's see how many Batmans we have. All right. I'll be, and this is, go on. Tell me. We have four people watching right now. So, uh, and I know people, and it's another thing. When you come on a show, right, and you're like, oh, I want to know about spirit guides. I need to know about spirit guides. Yes, let me know about spirit guides. All right, so Batman. So, look, all right, so I pulled this card for Batman. Let's look. This is, this is cool shit right here. Harley Quinn and Joker, okay? All right. All right, Manda, give me your character. All right. So for Aquaman, okay. Now this is gonna tell you something. Are y'all ready? Amanda loves Spider Man. So Amanda, we can go in the middle of the deck for you. I feel like you need to go in the middle of the deck. So that's what we're gonna do. Middle of the deck. There we go. All right. Wonder Woman, okay. Boom. All right. Now are y'all ready? Y'all each picked a frequency. Batman, why does he wear a mask? Can anybody tell me why he wears a mask? I'll tell you why he wears a mask. He wears a mask to protect his friends and his family. That's it. That's why he wears a mask. It, all right. All right, Joker, one more. Okay. All right. Aquaman. Aquaman has a legacy, depending on what character, what, you know, variant you read about Aquaman. Uh, he has a lot. He's in the shadow of a king. The Poseidon, the trident, Neptune. Neptune goes Greek, Roman. That's Poseidon. Boom. boom. So we got that water. We got that flowing energy, right? So, all right, we got that. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is Greek, right? She's Greek. So Themyscira. Wonder Woman has an Athena-type energy. Athena's energy is wisdom and power. and, and... Right. So, all right, we got Aquaman. Duh, duh, duh. All right, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, we see as, if you're watching the movies, you've seen him as a young man. You've seen him as a middle, you've seen him middle, young, middle age now. You've seen different things. But Spider-Man was created because of... 
a spot. I, I don't know the story. I was. I don't want to miss 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 uh, tell the story. Artemis of the Hunt. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight people, eight cards. Now six cards. Okay, here we go. So here are some guides for you. Now you might say, it's not a thing. It's not a person. It's a place. Okay, we're going to get there. Some people love Paris. They absolutely adore Paris. Paris has a frequency, right? When you go to Greece, I haven't been to Greece yet, hopefully one day. Um, but when you go to the amphitheater, right, and you, and, you, and you walk the amphitheater, that has a frequency. It's an ancient frequency. You go to the Roman Colosseum, that's a frequency. You can pull in that frequency. Jasper. I don't go on any investigation without Jasper, right? My friend, where'd it go? My friend, Autumn, at Journey of Their Wands, made this for me to take to my investigation. So this is this is Garnet, right? It's Lapidolite. Regenerate relationships, right? Boom, 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 right? My niece gave me these. These are little Greek gods. That's Hermes. So the message for y'all, here we go. Isn't that great? I just picked them up. I didn't even know who it was. All right. So the ship of conflict. So when we are working with our guides, how do we how do we how do we avoid the conflict? Right? How do you avoid conflict with you get a message from let's say boo, whoever. Let's uh let's say Ganesh. All right, you're working with the Ganesh frequency. Big old elephant, right? Elephant energy. Right. And Ganesh energy tells you uh, the obstacle that you are facing is of your own making. Well, you might just want to hit Ganesh in the face. I know that asshole. I'm very well aware that my my obstacle is of my own making. I, I'm asking you I, because I've reached it. I've done some reading on you. I've, I understand what people why people believe what they believe. I respect it. I want to know why, right? Because when you read and when you research, your brain starts thinking. Your higher consciousness starts vibrating at a high frequency, right? And so then you put that that seed, that seed frequency of Ganesh in there, boom, and you know stuff about Ganesh. He's like, boom, boom, boom. it's like the spider tingle. It's like, boom, 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 boom. oh, so if I make more money, I can get a new house. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So don't blow your money. Okay, good, good, good. But don't hoard your money either. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good, good. That's, that's good. That's good. You see what I'm saying? Looking at inner conflict is one of the most important things when working with your guides. And you might say, I don't can't find my guide. I've been looking for my guide for so damn long. I will sit there in my chair like this. And then I'll just jump up and be like, well, I'm done. Can't do it. Not going to do it. No guide here. No guide today. No guide tomorrow. No guide anywhere. Uh, and then you go spend three or $400 in a class. And your friend gets the guide. You're like, what the? But I got the Jordans on, man. And I got the outfit. Like, come on. I am came ready. I'm ready to play. But you're not ready to play. Because you don't know what the you're doing. You have no idea. It happens on a regular basis. When people say, help me find my guides. The friend was more open. So, Chrissy, what do you mean by that? The friend was more open. Help me find my guides. So, like, so you're sitting there. It happens in acting class too. I've seen it happen a thousand times. So many, so many classes. I've seen actors 
who come to play, who are ready. They've gotten the best headshots. They've gotten the best hair, the teeth, the boob job, whatever you want to call it. They've got everything, right? They're ready to be on camera. But they can't. Oh, okay, yes. Chrissy says, uh, the friend who was more open to find a guy to follow it. I like to let the guides find you. My first guide, I, I, was, I was very depressed. I was very angry. I was very mad that I had to move back to Mississippi. I resented my family. I resented everybody around me. I didn't give a damn about anyone. And as before I was certified or anything like that, I, I loved the paranormal. I loved spirits and everything. I didn't know what it was. And when I tell you all this story, you're going to laugh at me, and you're going to be like, ha, 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 ha. So I was in my, my old house, in my room, overlooking the Ross Barnett Reservoir, and I was just cussing, and I was pissing, mad, I was angry. I was like, this is some bullshit. I don't want to do this. Ba, 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 ba. So you get really up, you know, and you, I just really got upset. So I've been writing a play. Um, and this is how I found one of my characters. I've been writing a play, and one of the characters' names was a play on words was Arthur. And to this day, I think I'm a, I'm a little crazy. I'm going to admit it a little bit. But we're all a little crazy, right? We're all a little crazy in here. Isn't that right? Self-esteem. It's the thing that we're all challenging, right? We're all learning to deal with. Because that's the truth! Look at that! Bam! I love these cards. It's great. And I love doing this. Look, look, epiphany! Ain't that some shit? We're all having a showing. So anyway, so I'm, I'm very angry, very mad. And so in my third eye, and I didn't realize this was my third eye at the time. I had no, no idea about the third eye. I knew about intuitive, about ESP and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't know... I felt a person pick me up and throw me against the wall. It was like, enough of the bull... Actually, he said, this is how I did it. <clears throat> enough of the bullshit. What the hell are you doing? You're sitting here doing nothing. You're being a little brick. You're ungrateful. You're the most ungrateful little punk ass I've ever seen in my life. You've got everything in the world and you're still bitching. I don't understand it. And he took his hand and he went, Right across my face. Now, I later understand this was in my third eye. But this was my first introduction to my guide. Who only I knew as Arthur. Because I was like, where the hell did you come from? He's like, where the hell do you think I came from? And he pointed with my third eye to my script. Now, a guide is not going to always tell you what you want to hear. So you're like, oh well, oopsie, sorry. Look at that. Decisions. Ain't that some ain't that some shit? Decisions. Higher self. Look at that. Come on now. Come on. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. If I was that smart, we we'd all be we'd all be in golden brick houses. Um and not in despair. So Anyway, so for a long time, until recently, until recently, um, I was working more with uh, Stones. I had a friend um, who's very much into Stones. I've talked about him before, and he's going to be on the show sometime in the near future. Um, but like uh, Y2J, I'm not going to tell you about him. I'm just going to let you, let him just appear one day. Um, he was talking about frequencies, and he was talking about Stones. And I had seen this. It's Merlin, right? And at the time, I said, that's the only skull I would ever buy. See that? I didn't even notice he had a skull. But I told myself I'd buy it for my son. I wanted to, you know, I want to give it to my son when, he, you know, when I pass or whatever. And I was like, oh, and I'm going to need a King Arthur. And I said that out loud. I'm gonna need a king. He's like, oh, really? You're going to need a King Arthur? Hey, dumbass, I'm King Arthur. And I was like, what? You're a writer. You're an art. What? So that makes, oh, now I understand why when I was help, asking you for help with learning lines, you were like, strategize. 
Come on. Come on. But anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right. So here are the other cards. So a ship of conflict. We talked about that. That's that's great. Ship of conflict. Let you see it. We gotta know our ships. We gotta know what ships we're getting on. And we gotta let we gotta say, okay, guide, uh, you're welcome to come on the ship with me. Um, I need you on the ship. I'll pay for your ticket. And that you will pay for the ticket. I'm gonna tell you that right now. They're never gonna buy the ticket themselves. Okay. You're gonna pay for the ticket. It's gonna cost you something. When you work with your guides, it's gonna cost you something. Uh, it's no joke that mediums, the good ones, the great ones, right? They're not around long because they give so much of themselves. I stress to you and all you who are, if this is shared, if you're sharing this, I appreciate it, y'all. I can't tell you how much I appreciate seeing seven people, six heart likes. To me, that's 13. That's four. That's a beautiful number. Boom! You can't see me. All right. So, oh, look at that. Omniscient um, Advisor Council. So, Mirror Mirror. So, you, someone might be looking to have a council with an advisor. And they may need to look with working with birds as they are looking for counseling in this world. I think that someone out there um, I think these are probably, um, and you'll know. And we'll that Greg, you know, said about the other day, these things that I'm telling you, like that's me. Oh, look, that's me. Hey, hey, talk about me. Hey, hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, listen, listen you gotta hear this guy. He's crazy as shit. But look, he's talking about birds in a farmhouse, and that's me. All right. Um, this is I do this to entertain but also to enlighten and engage people, engage your energy, engage your frequencies. So you're not stuck in the ships of conflict, which is very, very important to me. Very, very important. Now you might see this here. I want to show you something. Everybody knows about Reiki, right? Spiral. Boom, boom, right? That's energy. So if you have your ship, in conflicted seas, and your energy is up here and not grounded and not balanced, then guess what happens? You are going to fucking sink. You're going to go, but besides, it's my spirit guide. But besides, it's my spirit guide. He's my spirit guide. He's my spirit guide. How can I sink? I'll let y'all go with that. All right. Soul, ambition, and drive. Look at that. So when you're working with spirit guides and you're trying to find ambition and drive, use your cards. Use your stones. You might say, oh, that's a quartz. I like that quartz. It's a very nice quartz. Um, I'm going to take that quartz out there. I'm going to use it. It's a generator. It's going to help me drive myself. You know, I'm going to do it. It's a... Uh, well, I'm going to drive. I'm gonna, you get in the car, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive to the place so I can be ambitious. I'm going to do it because I can do it. I can do it. I know I can. It's a very important thing for me. I need to do it. Um, but you also see columns. You see columns there. What do columns do? Columns support. So to be ambitious, you have to have support. Here's the thing. We talked about money earlier. If you're blowing money, right, and I think – all, every investigator here, every paranormal enthusiast here can tell you it is easy to blow through money. It is easy to blow through, but you can't you can't just run to money, though. I mean, you can, but it might cost you some dignity and some stuff. But 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 seriously. All right, Annette. So Artemis is a spirit guide. So Artemis works with Apollo, right? So Artemis is the, the lady of the wood. And as you work with the lady of the wood, you have to understand what she's doing and why is, why is she, why is it a she? Why is she in the woods? Why is she working with animals? What, what is her purpose? Why does she have the bow? Who is Artemis, right? Look at the word art. 
art is in there. A R T art. There's a craft. So you have to you have to understand that artists is going to help you work with the your arts and your crafts and help you understand your jungle, your woods, your forest. She's going to walk you through. She's going to help you get to one stream to another. She's going to teach you discipline and patience. She's going to help you learn some ambition, but also learn respect. It's important to learn respect. You have to learn how to work with her and not against her. Just like Dragon. We can't work. We have to work with Dragon. We can't we can't go pulling on Dragon's tail. Because then Dragon might bite our head off. Right? So. The crossing between life and death. Every medium, every intuitive will have this question. What happens after this? Now, if we're lucky, we get this message, and then we go to Greg's, we go to Greg's show, Ghostbox Live, right? But you look at this, and you see it's open. A lot of castles, okay, yes, do they ever try to trick you? Um... If you allow for that kind of spirit guide to get inside your in your aura, then you are only going you're going to work with trickster energy. So what I would do is I bring coyote in. I work with coyote. I look at that frequency. There has to be an understanding of what you are working with and why you're working with them, and you have to respect that frequency. Now, here's the thing: Artemis is a placeholder. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a placeholder for a certain way of existence. So certain, it's a way, right? Because Artemis, Artemis was created because people needed to understand. They needed to understand the wood. They needed to understand this, that, these, and those. They needed to understand the crossing between life and death. They needed to understand working with animals. If they, if there's a person out there with a bow who can shoot and can kill me, whew. I'm going to respect the animal. I'm going to respect the rabbit. I'm going to respect her brother, the moon, right? Apollo and Artemis, right? I'm a, a, it's because wood, the forest and the wood are so in line with one another. So if you are allowing something to come in there and trick you, that's on you. It's just like in paranormal investigators. If you go in and you play with stuff you should not play with, right? If you go in asking for the dark one to show up, guess what's going to happen? <laughs> either he's going to annoy the hell, either he's going to ignore you, right? He'd be like, that little guy, he's chump change. Or he's like, ooh, fresh meat. Yum. Let's devour this. And I don't mean that in a way of like, ooh, I'm going to get possessed. Oh, help me. No, that's not what I mean by any means. But you have to be aware of what you allow into your aura and what you allow to learn, right? Um, when you are learning certain things about certain people, so it's not her. So I would never tell anybody that their spirit guide is not their spirit guide. Okay, I'm telling you, my belief, Suitsi's belief, is that these certain things have been created as placeholders, placeholders because the frequency is so great and so powerful. Right, that it had to be contained. It had to be insulated. No, no, it's no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying at all. Tricksters that come in. If you're if you're working with guides and you're and you're not getting the highest frequency, right? That's when you shut it down. That's when you take your snowman out. And you put them out and you say, all right, time to melt. Time to melt. I'm, I'm done with this shit. Bring my light in. It's like on a set. Back to one. Let's do my back to one. This person screwed up the scene. Hey. I'm working with higher frequency only. I'm working on higher frequency only. 
You cut that shit out like an editor. Click, 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 click. Let that shit fall onto the editing room floor. Tricking you is usually about ego. And what does ego mean? Edging God out. A trickster can be a lessener. Okay? How you react. How you react. Everything is a lesson. Okay, everything's a lesson. You know what? Let's just see. Now, if I pull Artemis out of this deck right here, I'm just throwing the computer away. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm just going to be like, mm, okay. So this is Greek mythology reading cards. I love Greek mythology. Edith Hamilton is probably the best mythology book you can ever get. If you have not read Edith Hamilton's mythology, I highly recommend it. Okay. Are y'all ready? Pretty damn fucking close. So that is Karen. I don't know who that is. But woundedness. So what I would say, Annette, is I would say that if you're wounded and I I don't want to, I don't want to, I, I hate calling people out and I don't want to say that at all. But everybody here knows, I think all seven of you know, that I come from a good place and I only mean good intentions to everyone. Um, Tim Smith, I, I think Tim Smith can tell you that. Um, but I'm going to tell you, because this is what we do here on Sundays with Suits. We're going to find out who this is. We learn shit here. We go back to school. We don't have to wear masks. All right, so Kiharan. Let's see who Kiharan is. Do y'all know who Kiharan? I don't. And I know Greek. I know. Holy shit! Holy shit! Y'all ready for this? Kiharan. Kiharan was famed for his incredible healing skills, but also for his, his insightful wisdom and empathy. With a deep knowledge of human frailty, he understood the psychology of wounded feelings. These compassionate skills were passed to the great heroes and demigods as he wisely mentored them. Come on! Like, really? Like, what are we doing right now? Come on! Hello, Donna, how are you? Donna, Donna, Salbertalo. Donna, Donna, Salbertalo. Okay. Karen was half horse, which means he's a worker, right? We know where the horse is. Half man, which means he's a worker. Um, so he, he set apart from humans or gods, but still cultured, intelligent, and kind. Myth tells us he was wounded in the thigh by a poisoned stray arrow. And despite his skill, I swear if it said Artemis shot the arrow, I was going to throw the book. Um, could not heal himself. So he relinquished his immortal status as a god, which allowed him to die and descend to the underworld where he might find peace. And rebirth. This card implies sensitivity, compassion, and healing are required now. If someone feels wounded, know that you can find peace within as you seek to understand and heal hidden pain. I feel like this may be something to do with your your life as a as a young person and your relationship with um, construction religion, um, organized religion. I could be wrong. That's all I'm going to say. Um, the painting, if y'all are curious, is Hope by George Frederick Watts, 1886, The Education of Achilles by Chiron. So, uh, again, that was, that was great. It was great. Uh, okay. All right. So let's come back here. All right. Uh, 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 all right. Now we have those. Okay. All right. So the cross between life and death, which we, you know, it's, it's something that we deal with every day, especially right now. You know, rest in peace, Bob Saget. Rest in peace, Bob Betty White. Rest in peace. Coach Wahlberg from St. Joe, uh, who was a great teacher. God bless her and her family. She passed away uh, recently. Um, look at this, the present. Can you, we can't make this shit up. 
So Erd, the present. Let's see what let's see who let's see who Erd is. Okay. And I gotta thank y'all because when y'all were thinking about y'all superheroes, I was pulling in your frequency of why they were your superheroes. So for some of y'all, life and death, you understand it better because of your imagination and the superhero um aspect okay erd let's see who erd is and I, you know if y'all have questions go ahead and ask them um i'll be glad to answer i'm not perfect by any means um and i don't know everything i wish i did but i don't so I'll be glad to to learn some shit. Um, not shit, you know, but good stuff. Who wants to explain to Donna what we're doing? Donna, we're talking about how to understand and work with your spirit guides and spirit team, both mind, both of the human form and of the spiritual form. As I, all right, so no. Oh, I know I did. Oh, I know I did. But one person said Spider-Man. So I was just... Go Superheroes. Oh, I did it. I picked it. Hey, you know what? Oh, I did it. But I'm going to tell you what I just read. I'm going to tell you. So, uh, Yaimir, Creativity, Novelty, and Artistic Struggle. Uh, is a hermaphrodite pro-giant from whom Odin and his brothers Vi and V created the matter of the world. Uh, the idea was quality to create new life, new in the sense of that which did not exist before any form. From the sweat of his armpits, a man and a woman arose. Can y'all imagine how they thought that man came from sweaty armpits? Like, come on. One of his legs began a six feet sign with, the, and with his other leg, Veal, and Vi made the sky from his skull, the earth from his flesh, and the oceans and the waters from his blood, and I, I, I can't speak uh, um, this language, um, and I apologize. Mil de Gardur, where humans live from his eyebrows. Ymir is associated with creativity, the arts, and the artistic struggle. We are struggling right now in, in expression. So if you are looking to understand how to express yourself, you may want to look at the frequency of Y-M-I-R, Ymir. Because it represents the artistic process, the pain, and the joy of creating. If you're not hurting when you create something, you're not doing it right. There's a lot of in, there's like double entendres all day long in that kind of situation. But um, the pain and the joy of creating, varying with who shows up in this bread with him. Come on, come on, come on! Like um, this card must always revolve around questions about some creative process and moving forward. So either Veal or Vi are present is an indicator to aggressively... Let's just see who's present. Uh, let's see if Veal or Vi was in here. If Veal or Vi is in here, I'm going to lose my shit. Okay. No. All right. All right. So Donna wants to ask if we have abilities. Um, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Reiki master teacher, intu uh, intuitive, storyteller intuitive, and uh, the eccentric medium. Um, Greg runs Ghost Box Live. We have paranormal investigators in here. We have advocates of the paranormal in here as well. Um, feel free, guys, to leave your, leave your connections or whatever you want to for Miss Donna in here. Um, who relates to Thor? Someone is a Thor person. So um, I, I so me and me and Spirit have a, a situation. Um, I use my cards for Spirit. Um, I have so much, I, as an empath, my energy frequencies, my, my, even my insulators, if I don't do it where it's sort of like a murky cloud, then it becomes too much for me. And if it becomes too much for me, then I, I don't do, I don't serve 
the client. I don't serve the purpose. I don't serve the quest. Um, so I have, I've, had, I've learned how to communicate with spirits in a way through using cards, through using stones, uh, through using uh, feelings. So it's important. It's important. Uh, you have to have a certain strength, right? So like 10 years from now, I might be a very different medium. And that's something that you have. You'll have people who will come in and they'll be like, I was this. Like, if, I don't know if you've ever gone uh, to a, an intuitive once and they, they read you one way. And then 10 years later, they come in, they got crystals and stones and like, like feathers and shit. And you're like, what in the fuck? I just wanted a fucking reading. Uh, you know, so it's, uh, it's, it's good. So Thor, strength, fertility, and protection. This tells me someone's thinking about working with dragon. Um, and that's very important when you're working with dragon to understand that it's what I call, you know, safe sex, more or less. You've got, you got, you got to protect yourself. You got to protect yourself. When you are creating, protect yourself. When you're, because you don't know what the hell is going to come creeping in. You have no idea. And you don't know what the result can be either. So you have to protect yourself and you need to insulate yourself. It's very, very important. Protection and insulation. Because you don't want to have a dragon STD. It's not a fun thing. I've never had one, but I can just think that would be a bad situation. Uh, can you imagine going to that doctor's appointment? Uh, but Thor represents strength, fertility, and protection. And nowadays, Thor, you could look at it as a frequency because of Marvel. You know, that's a frequency. Thor has been adapted, right? So if a person couldn't get behind the Thor of this, they might get behind the Thor of that. And that's great. Does protection and insulation apply to sickness? Um, are we talking about, should you go on an investigation while you're sick kind of thing? Are we talking about working while you're sick? Are we talking about if you don't insulate yourself, you can get sick? Yes. If you do not insulate yourself, protect yourself, you can get sick. It's called ghost sickness. I've had it. It is not was not it's not fun. So um so yeah. So something tells me that somebody here is really starting to really work with dragon. So I'm a, I'm gonna bring dragon into your aura for you. Here we go. There's some dragon energy for you. Right? Okay. All right. So there we go. Bring some dragon energy for you. All right. So we got Thor out of the way. So then we have Ran. Um, there's some nudity in this picture, so um, I apologize. This is on Facebook too, so here you go. It's a little nudity, but uh. Intuition, subconscious, and currents. So this tells me that someone is currently using their intuition to work to better understand how their subconscious is working. I feel like this person is really not understanding how to work with their guides consciously. So they're working with them subconsciously. They're like, okay, see, I, 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 I tried. I really tried. I I went to the meditation class. I paid the $250. The guy said, you take a stone out like this. He said, take a stone out. He said, you take a pyramid, right? And you imagine, you imagine climbing the pyramid, right? You get up one, two, three, four, five, six, right? You get, it, I looked at it and okay. And I get no guide. $250 down the drain. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You've got to understand. Hello, Carolyn Effman. How are you? Carol Is it Carlin? Is it Carlin? Uh, no. but anyway, so working with your team, uh, I, I, I always say have a frequency protector, have an insulation. Christians, Bible. Um, if you have a family Bible, even better, uh, or crucifix or something to that effect, but know the weight of the instrument, right? Because once, once you, once you, you, you know the weight of the instrument, right? Because it is an instrument then. It's a tool, right? Just like my mother-in-law said, money is a tool. It's a tool to use, right? 
when you have a cross. Uh, la, 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 la. Let me see. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Let me see what you said. Oh, does protection? So I answered that, but yes. So protection. Um, if you are subconsciously not protecting yourself, um, if you're consciously not protecting yourself and you just don't care or you don't know, here's the thing. Ignorance, you can only feign that for a little while, right? You go on investigations and if you go on three or four investigations with three different teams. One of those team members is going to tell you, hey, you know what? Uh, uh, you need some, you need some hematite. Uh, you know what? You need some, uh, um, you need some stones. Let me tell you, I can get them for you. Uh, it ain't gonna cost you anything. Either. Just let me know what you need, which was like, and I'll, I'll get them for you. So Dragon, uh, we talk about working with Dragon a lot, and uh, people, you know, I'm eccentric, I'm excessive, guys, and so what th the Dragon is to bring that Dragon energy into the conversation. If someone needs that frequency. They now have a picture. They now have an image. They now have a memory of that dragon that they can use. So it's a beautiful, you know. Again, Michael's story at the Oriental Shop. So if you want to get one, contact him. All right. They're my three. My three times a lady. Right? Okay. But, yes, yeah, you don't protect yourself, you can get sick. Very, very, very much you can get sick. Um, okay. So be aware of what's coming into your subconscious too. My wife talks about this all the time. I watch a lot of foreign shows with subtitles so much to the point now where I, I'll go in the, the front because she's like, I do not want to dream about the Helsinki murderer. I don't want to do it. I want to dream about Mickey Mouse in the fun house or in Canto, right? That's 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 a thing, right? You have to be aware of what you're allowing in your subconscious. So when you go to sleep at night, say, hey, brain, hey, house, I'm going to tell you this. When you start thinking your house and thinking your bed and thinking these little things, they have frequencies, believe it or not. And you may need to clean those frequencies. You may need to clean them, right? You may need to because it might have a virus of some sort. New virus. Virus! Um, okay. I'm going to shut up now. All right. So someone brought up Aquaman, and look who fucking shows up. That is Poseidon, ladies and gentlemen. That is Poseidon. So someone brought Aquaman up, and that's this is why I do this. This is why I do this. Hospitality, abundance, and currents. Again, we have this thing with currents. There's a lot of things going on. So what that tells me is we're probably be all about to have some storms. There's going to be a lot of flooding. The spring's going to be a lot of flooding. Uh, it's going to be really, really cold coming up. A lot of that energy is coming up. Uh, so you're working with under everything has energy. Yes, Don, you're very, very correct. So hospitality, abundance, and currents. What is your current your current state? So if you're looking to understand how to work with the currents, you may want to work. I call them Poseidon. You may want to work with Poseidon or Neptune or Aegir. Let's see who Aegir is. I mean, again, you can't you can't beat this. This is a great great card deck. Well, I'm doing this. If you have questions, let me know. Just say, hey, so say I got some questions. Or, I got some questions. Or, I need some answers. Because I know this, I know one person is gonna say, hey, he said he's gonna tell me how to get my spirit guides. Hey, that person said he could give. Huh, 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 huh. And I am. This is one way. One way is to do research. Jeremy's missing everything. Well, Jeremy, you pull, you talked about Aquaman and you got Poseidon. So what that tells me is it's also something to do with brotherly in, in, interest. So if there is a pack of two brothers or three brothers, something to do with family and brotherhood, uh, different perspectives, maybe different ways of life. One person's up high, one person's mid, one person's low. And understanding and how to, how that works and how you work with that is very, very important. Very, very important. All right. 
again, or the present. So living in the present. All right. So y'all know what we do. We wrap this up. So here we go. We're going to pull some cards. Oh, shit. Holy shit, Artemis. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Y'all see that? Y'all saw that, right? I didn't pick it. I picked the bunk. I picked it up. That's Artemis. That is crazy. That is that is worth it. Look at that. Fuck, I'm telling you. You might want to take, somebody take a picture of this. Take a picture, send to me. No pictures. Y'all not taking pictures. I better get at least one picture. Okay, fine. Then. But Artemis shows up. So what that tells me is <laughs> I'm supposed to tell y'all who Artemis is. Okay. That is crazy. Someone please explain to Tim. Someone asked about Artemis earlier. And we got this picture that looked a lot like Artemis. Right? And then I was going to pick up some cards and do a little wrap-up. And, and the goddess of light appears out of nowhere. Like, what the hell? Like, come on. That is... That, that is... Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh, wow. Oh. Oof. Oof. Artemis is part of the light itself, but most especially the aspect of the sun's light that sparkles and glints on water. She was swift-footed and fast. In myth, we are told she is fond, found in mountain regions where the rainwater tumbles in streams and waterfalls. Currents! Currents! Uh, reflecting and rejuvenating her light's rays at best. As Apollo's twin sister, she's accompanied him to fight the serpent, which a lot of you will call the dragon. FYI. Which represents the night. Her silver bow is a crescent moon, which reflects the light of the sun. Artemis is determinedly independent ravishingly beautiful and yet disdainful and in get enraged by the attention of suitors. Oh, plurity me. Imagine the strong light of the mighty sun hitting your eyes to understand her best. So one of the people know how, oh, how do I? So what you might want to do, let me, hold on. Okay, so I'll have this pie right here, right? You see pie right? Right? You see him? Right? Imagine putting light up to this and hitting it like this and going like this and understand, understand that, hey, pyrite might be a good stone for you because it's bright. It's a very bright stone, bright and light. Okay. She was unforgiven of boastfulness and demanded respect. So what that tells me is that we all here, there's some people here who need to demand respect, especially in the workplace. I feel like there's a female and a male who are really Getting, they're just taking it, and they're about to just go, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore, but in the most respectful possible way. Artemis is once the mo most powerful deities on Olympus, and she surrounds you now with powerful light, generosity, benevolence, and prosperity, which you should receive with humility and reverence. That is so fucking crazy. I, that, that's, that's crazy. Can y'all... Come on, y'all know that's crazy, right? Like, give me a break, right? Just a little bit. Like, I mean, come on, that's crazy. That's nuts. Okay. So here we go. Last three for the night. This is what we all need. Hygienia, Hygieia for good health, right? So we're bringing her into the whole picture. Icarus for inexperience, right? Well, that makes a lot of damn sense. So if you're not. So what did Icarus do? We all know what Icarus did, right? Okay. Iris, look at this. Messages. Come on, guys. We're getting messages all damn day long. And I'm telling y'all, nature is about to blow up. It's about to happen. All right. So let's wrap it up because. Ghostbox Live is coming on. Y'all better stay. In... 
We want at least 10 people on that show. We had 10 here. Um, I appreciate it. Like I said, we're manifesting 20 for our next show. 20 manifesting, 20 manifesting, um, or more. Please like and share this video. If you want to talk to me, shoot me an email. My email is in the description below. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Bum, bum, bum. Y'all ready to have a little musical? Bum, bum, bum. Y'all ready? Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Greg's like, hurry up. I got to get my show on the road. All right, here we go. Ready? You've got ambition and drive. So avoid the crazy ships in the ocean who try to push you off every night and every day. So what we need is a little bit to show ourselves with epiphany. And then we're going to bring in our higher self so we make the right decisions, you see. That will help the truth of the higher self grow. Look at that light, Artemis, yo. This will help with self-esteem. So we won't feel deceit. So we'll be the master teacher and by understanding discipline, you see. So don't have shame because you're a divine healer. You're a master teacher with a purpose. But you got to have your balance, master teacher. And you got to learn how to open your heart. Because your heart's got unconditional love. Don't deny the divine helpers above. Don't fall to despair. Ask an advisor who cares. Forgiveness, mildness, and kindness are there. Be in the present. Watch out for Poseidon when you fly on the sea. Use your intuition and your subconscious. That will help your strength, fertility, and protection, you see. We're all wounded, but we're healing. Nature is doing her best. So listen to the messages of my inexperience. So you have good health at best. The crossing between life and death. Woo Man, that was a great show. It is unbelievable. Y'all are unbelievable. Fantastic blowing up. Um, I'm going to save the Goddess Temple for next week. If you want to know what's in the Goddess Temple, this is what I want you to do. I want you to send me an email. The email is there. I want, you want you to ask me five questions. Five questions. All right? Five questions. And we're going to use this next week, next Sunday at 830, right here at the Trinity Station at the Wolf Bear Den. Um, I'm not going to say who it was or who it is or what it is, right? If you have questions about your spirit guides, about your spirit teams, right? Um, I'm going to get more in detail later on, probably the next three or four episodes, about working with people, working with your spiritual people in your community, because uh, that's another thing. Any kind of questions. It could be as long as they are realistic questions, right? This is my dad used to tell me. He's like, if people show up, you have to let them know they showed up, right? If people show up, if they, they have lives, people have kids, they have jobs, they have everything. If they show up, then you need to know they show up. So I want you... Every eight people here, it, I, you know, and I, I can tell who's here. I know who's here. Send me an email, either to centricmedium at gmail.com or Sundays with suits at gmail.com and say, hey, I have some questions. I'm a little shy. I might not know some shit. Uh, can, 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 can I, can I, uh, uh, can you not say it's me, but can you give the answers next Sunday live on uh, Things Network? And I'll be like, yes, yes, I can. I can. I can. I. I mean, it might be good. It, it might be your answers. They might not be the answers you want. And your questions may be for someone else. How many of y'all been dating somebody? You're like that person's not for me, but I know somebody that is for. And you. And you have to tell the person we did. We're, we're good. We're good. I didn't do anything with the person. I, I just know that you, you, you're good. You. You. You and that person will work well together. Okay. All right. Um. I'm gonna leave y'all with an energy card. And this is from Colette Baron Reed.
Yes, I can. Uh, it should be on here. It's uh, Sundays with Suits at gmail.com. Sundays with Suits with gmail.com. Virginia, are you still here? Can you write that down? I got all these cards. I wrote a song. All right, ready? So here, wrapping it up. Time machine. Endless possibilities. It is what it is. Beyond the ordinary. The uncharted sea. Come on. Come on, the uncharted sea. And we got Poseidon. Come on now. A deep breath. Exposed and revealed. And y'all will not believe these next fucking cards. All right, another picture. Look, broken open, as we just did, we broke open, and we had the spirit of gratitude. And that's what we always ask for. Onward, upward, greatness abounds. Soak up that humanity, create your art, make your impact with the army of now, not the army of tomorrow. We are the army of now, so our children and their children, they won't have armies tomorrow. No, they'll be riding, running in the forest naked. And having a beer or sharing a wine or telling lies, chasing women or men or whatever they choose. Smiling, laughing, doing plays, going to concerts, going to football games, not worrying about stupid shit like, oh, my God, there's a Florona. Oh, my God, Betty White's in. Oh, my God, Bob Saget. Oh, my God, Sidney Poitier. Holy fuck. Can we redo that pose? Which one? Like this? All right, that's good. So now that we are exposed and revealed, and I have shown my ass, I'm going to go and get ready to tune in to watch uh, before I go to bed because I was going to go overtime night, but I'm overtime on job, but that's just not happening. I'm, I'm going to sleep. I've been doing overtime every night this week. So thank you all so much. Y'all are a blessing. Ten people, I cannot tell you. Please shoot those emails to me. Um, and let me, yeah, I'm going to make sure I got the right email. See, this is what I do. See all these cards? I have, this drive, somebody who's anal retentive, this would drive them nuts. And that's me. I'm anal retentive. I, I lose my shit. I have to go put all these in the right place. Okay. All right. Here we go. Give me one second. Sundays with suits. At gmail.com. Sundays with suits at gmail.com. S U N D A Y S W I T H S U I T S at gmail.com. All right. So, any more questions before I go? Oh, well, thank you so much. Or say, yeah, I'm looking, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If you have questions, you have ideas, you're like, hey, I really want to show about, like, why people don't talk about that when they go to paranormal places that they, they, the ghosts come home with them. I mean, crazy things, you know, we, we're, I'm always open. I'm always open um, to, to uh, input and insight. Anybody here will tell you I'm very accessible. Um, I might not get to you right away, but uh, if I don't have the answer, I'll find the answer for you. or I'll, I'll be like, I have no idea. Or I may pull a, a, a suit C and be like, I have the answer. The answer is song. Right? So onward, upward, greatness abounds. Soak up the humanity. Create your art and make your impact. Be the change so we can transform. So we can grow. So we can heal. Healing is life. And life is healing. Stay tuned next for Greg with Ghostbox Live. I feel like there's going to be some powerful spiritual energy in that house. I feel like that's going to happen. I feel like it's going to be something crazy. All right. That'll be good. Thank y'all. Like and share this video. I like, I, well, like, like, just like, share it like crazy. This is a good episode. It's a great episode. I appreciate all of you. Bye bye.